I'd like to call the meeting to order. Roll call. Mr. Accomando. Present. Mr. Buffy. Mr. Gierick. Mr. Magito. Present. Mr. Quinn. Ms. Sanchez. Mrs. Campieco. Present. Mr. Singh. Present. Mrs. Otterella. Present. Please rise for the pledge of allegiance. Adequate notice of this meeting has been sent to all members of the Board of Education and to the Bergen Record in accordance with the provisions of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, 1975. I have a motion to open the meeting to the public. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Residents are requested to state their names, address, and subject matter. In the event it appears the public comment portion of the meeting may exceed 45 minutes, the presiding officer may limit each statement made by a participant to five minutes duration. Issues raised by members of the public may or may not be responded to by the board. All comments will be considered and a response will be forthcoming if and when appropriate. The board asks that members of the public be courteous and mindful of the rights of other individuals when speaking. Specifically, comments regarding students and employees of the board are discouraged and will not be responded to by the board. Students and employees have specific legal rights afforded by the laws of New Jersey. The board bears no responsibility, nor will it be liable, for any comments made by members of the public. Members of the public should consider their comments in light of the legal rights of those affected or identified in their comments and be aware that they are legally responsible and liable for their comments. Anyone wishing to be heard, please go to the podium, state your name and address. Um, I'm just here to go over um, about the decision that the principal has made about children. I mean, parents can't work in the same school, dis school district as their children. And I'm wondering why that is. And um, you can anybody ask why? Okay, um, I'm the new superintendent, interim superintendent, Mr. Mashika. Um, you know, coming in here, one of the uh, plans that they had made prior to my coming in was uh, coming up with this plan for having parents work in the schools, uh, but they were would prefer to have them in other buildings. Uh, there seems to have been, in the past, some issues that were taking place, uh, and they had some concerns. I can't tell you specifically what the concerns are, um, so they were re really ready to move ahead with that, and that's where we are at this point, because there have been several discussions on the topic. It's not meant to hurt anyone. Uh, they're feeling that there might be some kind of interference with the children, whatever the case may be. So right now, that's the decision. Uh, doesn't mean that it will be that way forever, but certainly they want to try it and see what happens. So it, can't, it doesn't mean you can't be employed in the district. It just means for the school, for that particular school. Well, I guess there were some concerns that they were that were raised at some point prior to me being here. Okay. I don't know, as a parent, though, I mean, I just feel like I go to kids, and they said that I got a school one time to uh, the school I'm in Facebook, and uh, you know, the kids, they love to ask if they care, and they all came one time, but I'm not very much in this school. So, no, when I go to school for the school one time, I've stayed and worked, and worked there, and then I got a school one time. I'm not going to go along with my kids. The school is my period. They all have questions for about the school function. You know what I mean? I mean, there's nothing interfering with the kids that I see. There's nothing interfering with my children that I see. I don't know. Um, okay, well, I mean, that's the way she goes to it. 
Some requests can come from building administrators. If that's a plan that they want, they can do it. Not everything has to be voted on by the board. If they were saying that we weren't going to hire people who live in town, so that would be a, that would actually be something more that would come to the, to the board. They're doing a whole change in policy. This is not even policy as far as, okay? What we approve is your employment, not necessarily your employment at Smith or Long or Smith. It's just approving you as a luxury. I can say, you know, being new here, I just want to make perfectly clear. There are concerns. It's not you keep referring to she. Uh, this has been something that has been shared to me by three or four people. So, okay, so it's not she, right? Uh, whoever, okay? No, I, I would prefer if you did. No, <laughs> no, but I'm saying you're preferring you're referring to one person. My point is, it came from more than just one person. This didn't start. Start and end with somebody, one individual's idea. Okay? As far as I'm aware, I mean, I was with my staff today, my administrators, and this a topic that came up, and they were all on board with it. Okay? Okay, well, I just spoke to my chief, you know, friends who are running the school, and they said, well, you know, that's what it was. Okay, I understand listening, but right now, this is where we are. We do we use do, source we for do teachers. Use for We're going into our second year. The same way we would do a background check, Source for Teachers actually does that. So they go through the same process as if they were our, our teachers. The administrators do. You're saying Wayne was one district, Midland Park was the other one?
I thank you for sharing that. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. I would just like to say we don't vote on that. No, we don't vote. It, it's an administrative decision. Whatever they choose, it's the way it goes. That's that issue. But source for teachers, I'm not going to say 100%, but I'm going to say a good 80% of the subs they use are our people. Okay, so they would be the subs whether we use source for teachers or not. They go through our background checks, our fingerprinting, and most of them are town people, local. Thank you. Well, they definitely have to post it internally. Um, it has to be up for a certain amount of time internally. Uh, the policy, I'm not going to pretend to know the policy, but you can put it on the website. You don't have to as long as you have it posted. Okay, so they're not legally having to post it on the website? Not to my knowledge. Not on the website. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Motion closed meeting. Motion second. All in favor? Motion closed. Meeting is now closed to public. Business Administrator's Report. Thank you, President Zottarelli. I have two items this evening, uh, minutes from May, June, and July, and a check from June, July, and August. Motion. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Okay, roll call. Mr. Raccomando? Yes. Mr. Nagito? Uh, just for clarification, this is for A and, and B? Yes. Okay, so yes for A and B. The under B, I'm abstaining on check number 49827. Mr. Scanapanko? Yes. Mr. Singh? Yes. Mrs. Zotarelli? Yes. That concludes my report. There's no student offers on your report, Superintendent. Yep. Right. <laughs> I gave a pretty uh, extensive report the other night, but I just wanted to back that one up with the fact that uh, we did have a full day administrative retreat today where I worked with the uh, principals, the su uh, supervisors, uh, and it was very, very productive. Um, we had, besides myself, doing some presenting on uh, DAP committees and district goals and some other areas. Uh, staff members took the time to uh, present as well, covering anything from my learning plan, which is the new tool that we're using for the Danielson model, uh, was Teachscape, so it's another uh, program that we need to use on the computer when we're writing up evaluations. Uh, so we were trained in that. The review of the teacher evaluation model, which is Danielson, uh, again, in this area, Ms. Jenkins, along with Ms. Uh, Otero, our, uh, I'll call her our technology facilitator, uh, was involved in, in going through that. So that went very well. Uh, we did affirmative action in HIB. There was a full report on the HIB aspect from uh, the current meeting, which took place the beginning of August. There is going to be some changes and some choices that we will have supposedly sometime during September coming from the state with some type of flexibility. But, and however, 
Uh, right now, as far as I'm concerned, we're following the HIP policy as it is to the letter, and we're not deviating from that at this time. Uh, so there was good, good, solid uh, training with that. And I want to continue that process. Uh, I'd even like to get that information out to parents so everybody's on the same page. Uh, DAC committee is the district's education uh, committee that works on, if we were familiar with going back three or four years ago when everybody was looking for evaluation companies and formats to use, that's the committee that actually chose the one you were going to use. And I really think that in this district, we need to have more of that. So I'm reconvening uh, and restructuring the uh, DAC committee to oversee that so they have uh, interaction with the SKIP committees from the local schools to keep everything in the same place and lots of collaboration. So we're working on that as well. I also pre presented the district goals to the administrators because they have to create their own goals and I thought it would be healthy for them to look at what the Board of Education wants for the district and embed that into their own goals because at least we'll all be on the same page. So that's helpful. Uh, Mr. Karate came down again with Ms. Otero. Uh, sources for teachers was one of the topics looking at the ASOP program, which is the attendance uh, format, more technology. We worked on that. We looked over the uh, student management system that we use, Genesis, to get a couple of um, you know updates on that, and, and also trying to structure the amount of uh, information that different people at different levels can can get on students. In that program. School Wires is going to be the uh, company that oversees our website. Uh, we will still be designing things, but it goes to them. They will maintain that, so we had some training with that as well. And, uh, you know, we just did, we did a lot of work in here. The screen was down, and we had <laughs> all kinds of things. We even did an observation. We did a video observation of a teacher uh, teaching an elementary classroom in math, and uh, it went quite well. So it was a productive day for us. Uh, we are getting ready for the opening day uh, for the staff, which is next Thursday, September 1st. And more importantly, we're getting ready for the opening day for our students on September 6th. So there's lots going on from, uh, from the building aspect of things that are being cleaned, things that are being replaced, and I would say things that are being added as well. So, uh, you know, we want to make sure that everybody has a, a solid uh, environment to come to in a safe and productive school. So that's basically what we're working on. Okay, that's my report. Okay, you're welcome. Under student services? Yep, under student services. I go ahead. I'll go through uh, one through five if there are any questions again on this. Any discussion? All right. Good. Motion to accept and discuss. Okay, on the student services, numbers six. Yeah, uh, motion. Yeah. Okay. Motion. 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 Wait, is there a discussion on anything one through five? No. Okay. okay. Motion, Motion to accept one through five. Motion. Second. Second. Okay. Okay, roll call. Mr. Mr. Commando. Roll call. Yes. Sorry. Mr. Nagito. Yes. Is this Campeco? Yes. Mr. Singh? Yes. This is Otterelli. Yes. Okay, looking over now, numbers six and number seven. Any discussion? Motion to six and seven. Motion. Second. Roll call. Mr. Accomando? Yes. Mr. Nagito? Yes. Mrs. Canapeco? Yes. Mr. Singh? Yes. Mrs. is Yes. yes. Uh, under curriculum instruction technology and program numbers one and two. Any discussion? Motion. Motion. Second. 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 Mr. Accomando? Yes. Mr. Nagito? Yes. Mrs. Yes. Mr. Singh? Yes. Mrs. Yes. Yes. Otterelli? Yes. Going on to business and board, letter C. This is a big one, so I will start off with numbers one through five first. Any discussion? Yeah. If I could, uh, number five. 
I see that there's disposing of pianos. Is there any way to like donate to somebody if they need them for parts or anything? Uh, typically, they won't use them for parts, and it's difficult to donate pianos. In my experience, um, basically, when they're not really not working well, they're not up to par. It costs a lot, a lot of money mm-hmm. to rebuild them and fix it. So, I mean, if there, if there is something that pops up along the way, I'll be more than happy. <laughs> as long as they pick it up, they can. Have yeah, it. absolutely. <laughs> but, All right. but right now, right now, we're not at that. Any other discussion? Motion? Motion. Roll call. Ms. Raccomando? Yes. Ms. Nagito? Yes. Mrs. Scampeco? Uh, yes to all number two. Yes to number one and number four. No to number two and number three. Sorry, on the number two, the field trip? Exactly. ID numbers? Number two and number three is no. Uh, number two, number two, number three. And last other thing. On the number two ID, numbers two and three. Okay, Mr. Singh? Yes. This is Adarelli. Yes to all except no to number two, six and, uh, five and six. I do five and six. Moving right along. Okay. Um, moving now, numbers six through fourteen. <coughs> Any discussion? Yeah, through the chair. Um, was it possible to get any of the numbers for number twelve? How many uh, staff members? I, I, I yeah. promise you. No. Let's see. Okay. Well, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, we have a minute and, and the staff is working, so when um, we come back, we'll, we'll go through that. If I motion? Second. Motion. Second. Second. Mr. Raccomando? Yes. Ms. Nagito? Yes. Mrs. Scanapeco? Yes, to all except number 12, number 12 is no. Mr. Singh? Yes. Mrs. is Adarelli. Yes. Going on now from uh, numbers 15 through 19. Yeah. District, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, the district calls. Is there uh, any discussion? Okay. Motion. Motion. Second. Second. Roll call. Ms. Raccomando? Yes. Ms. Nogito? Yes. Mrs. Scampeco? Yes. Mr. Singh? Yes. This is our real. Yes. And now we are in personnel. So we can go numbers 1 through 10. Six. Okay. Just on number six, um, we have an effective date of ten eighteen. Uh, we're going to make that effective immediately. One two. Number six. Yeah. Turn the <laughs> All right. Okay. Motion. Motion. Second. Okay. okay. Uh, I just did 1 through 14. <laughs> what did I do? 1 through 10. 1 through 10. 1 through 10. Okay, so it's yeah, 11. 11. No, we have both. That of course. I'm on a run. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Roll call. Mr. Commando? Yes. Mr. Singh? Yes. Mrs. Campeco? Yes. Mrs. Scampeco? Yes. Mr. Singh? Yes. Mrs. Nagito? Yes. Mr. Raccomando? Yes. Mrs. Nagito? Yes. Mrs. Campeco? Yes. Mrs. Singh? Yes. Mrs. Autorelli? Yes. Thank you, though. Now we can move ahead. <laughs> Let's do 11 through 18. Mm-hmm. 11 through 18 currently. Mm-hmm. 
Any discussion? Motion. Oh, second. 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 Roll call. <clears throat> Mr. Accomando? Yes. Mr. Magito? Yes. Mrs. Scantapieco? Yes. Mr. Singh? Yes. Mrs. Otterelli? Yes. Um, let's do 19 through 28. Any discussion? <coughs> through the chair. <coughs> 27. I believe that means that they're they're no longer employed here. Yeah, um, they were offered positions, um, but they want to be employed at a particular school, which is a uh -huh. conversation that we just had. I believe my purpose is originally we approved them to work at Franklin, and we were rescinding that so that we can send them elsewhere. I believe that. So you put it on the back Okay. Any other discussion? What number is this going up to now? We're going 20, up to 28. 20, 20, 20, 20. Motion? Motion. Second? Second. Roll call. Mr. Sacramento? Yes. Mr. Nagito? Yes. Mrs. Yes. Um, Number 28, number 7 on the screen. Yes, sir. Mr. Singh? Yes. Mrs. Otterelli? Yes. Any discussion? Uh, that would be contractually. Okay. Any other discussion? Motion? I saw this is a 39, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay, motion. motion. Second. 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 Roll call. Mr. Commando? Yes. Mr. Nagito? Yes. Mrs. Canapeco? Yes. Mr. Singh? Yes. Mrs. Otterelli? Yes. And we will move now from numbers 40 to 48. Yes. Are we going to yeah, hold uh, um, this particular employee to, to the, uh, the max? Uh, as of right now, yes. Okay. okay. Um, okay. And we're posting post for positions, yes. Okay. We're posting for everything immediately. Any other discussion? Motion. Motion. Second. Second. Uh, roll call. Mr. Sarcomando? Yes. Mr. Magito? Yes. Mrs. Canapeco? No, to number 40. Yes, to everything else. Mr. Singh? Uh, no, to number 40. Yes, to everything else. Mrs. Otterelli? No, to number 40. Yes, to everything else. Anything 
changed in committee reports since Monday night? Well, through the chair, um, policy um, has uh, coordinated to meet on uh, Thursday, September 1st at 2.30. With all coming to attend. Any correspondence? Old business? Your business. Motion open meeting to the public. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Any more motions to be heard? Well, she she will. I am planning on having her in here, if not September, definitely early in October. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I just met with them the other day, so I'm I'm getting briefings on all that. But it sounds like they have some good things in place. So uh, yeah, she'll definitely be back. I promise. Okay. <laughs> For the chair, I'm sorry, March what? something we have to look into the only thing I'm looking for excuses but the only thing I'm thinking right now is the person who was the director at that time was leaving and I don't know if that information yeah I just want to clarify that for the public to know that the person who adopted the family is not doing the services for the family and this is the thing that you're always wondering that Okay. So, so was there any meetings with the with the team at all? With, uh, there was an IRS team meeting which started the process. I was told that she had to have a screening first to see if she was eligible for it and be 
evaluation, but the entire process. So over five months. Yeah, so with the point that I was getting to before is I know that uh, Dr. Santora came in in February, I think. So I don't right. know if this got, I, I can't say right. for sure, and but I if it's that uh, possibly got lost. I this at one point, and the secretary told me there was another one as a director of special services at that point. So it's possible that there was a Motion closed meeting to the public. Motion second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion to go into closed. Motion second. second. To recess to close executive session to discuss personnel matters covered by the attorney client privileges per NJSA 10 column 4 6 at set. Open Public Meetings Act, the subject matter discussed may be disclosed to the public if and when the need for confidentiality no longer exists. Action will not be taken when the board reconvenes in open session. 